Hello everyone, welcome to lecture number 2. So in today's lecture, I'll be taking a previous KVBY question which was asked in the year 2010. Now the question is, the integration is given as integration from 1 to e ln of x whole raised to power n d of x. Now the integration is given as i of n. That means it's dependent on the index n. Now the question is, this value for index n is equal to 2011 and for index n is equal to 2010, this value will be equal to which option? So let's start. Now feel free to pause the video and try this problem. Now here the first thing is how to start the problem. So back in my JE days when I was preparing for JE advance and JE mains and as well as for KVPY, I faced a similar kind of difficulty that how to start a problem like this kind of problems. So remember students, most of the time the hint will be given in the question only. So here they are asking I of 2011 and I of 2010. So here this is the hint here which they have provided. That means they are asking a reduction formula in i of n and i of n minus 1. Don't worry about the constant, it will automatically adjust. So that means we have to derive an expression for which we have i of n, i of n minus 1. Automatically we'll get the answer. So I'm going to write i of n as i of n is equal to integral 1 to e and I'm going to write this as 1 into ln of x whole raised to power n and d of x here. Now I'm going to consider 1 as second function and ln of x whole raised to power n as first function. Now here I'm going to apply integration by parts. So i of n will be equal to first function as it is into integration of second. The limits will be 1 to e minus times integration of differentiation of first function. So when you differentiate this here, ln of x whole raised to power n, you'll get minus times plus sorry, minus times n here, ln of x whole raised to power n minus 1 now differentiation of inside function will be 1 by x. Now integration of second function will give you x here, d of x. Limits will be 1 to e. So first thing is 1 by x and x will cancel out here. And here I'm going to put in the first integral, I'm going to put the limits here. So i of n will be equal to, when you put e here, ln of e will be equal to 1 and you will get e here. Minus times the moment you put 1 here, ln of 1 will give you 0. So immediately this term will be 0. And here you'll get minus times n. Now, if you observe one thing, for the original integral i of n, if the power is n here, then the integral will be i of n. So, the index will be n here. Similarly, if the power is n minus 1 here, if you observe, the integral will be i of n minus 1. Now, the moment you take minus times i of n minus 1 here, on the other side, you will get this as a beautiful relation between i of n and i of n minus 1. And this will be always equal to e. So we got a beautiful relation here. This is the relation. And this relation will be valid for n greater than or equal to 2. You can observe here. Now, in the question, as I told you, we'll be getting a relation between i of n and i of n minus 1 when I have given you the hint. Now, when you put here in this relation, when you put n is equal to 2011, automatically you'll get this as i of 2011 plus 2011 times i of 2010. This will be equal to e. Now, if you check the option, one of the option is true when you put n is equal to 100. So, when you put n is equal to 100, this will be equal to i of 100 plus 100 times i of 99. So, this will be always equal to e and c option is correct. So, this will be our final answer and that will be all.